Throughout history, they have been a persecuted people, enslaved, massacred, and discriminated against. The Jewish people have been scattered to the most remote parts of the earth. The history of the Jewish people in Ethiopia goes back several thousand years, goes back all the way to the relationship between the Queen of Sheba and King Solomon of Israel. And the tradition has been that there has been a Jewish community here known as the Beta Israel for several thousand years. Beta Israel means House of Israel, members of the House of Israel. We have this name for thousands of years to remind that we belong to, the, to Israel, to the Jewish community. Disconnected from the outside world, they continue to survive, preserving their identity and culture even amidst seemingly insurmountable conditions. Their condition is so terrible. They're very poor, poorest of the poor, and they don't have enough to eat. They don't have a medical care. So many of them are suffering because of you know, simple diseases that can be treated just because they don't have you know, a nearby clinic. They can't get treated and they don't have money to see a doctor. To many, these tribes may seem insignificant. But in fact, the discovery of these tribes and recognition by the Israeli government is seen by some as a fulfillment of Bible prophecy, culminating in these tribes returning to Israel one day. Although Israel has already opened their doors to more than 100,000 Ethiopian Jews, thousands more remain outcast due to controversy over their conversion to Orthodox Christianity. Yet without proper medical care, Many of these people would never be able to make the journey to their homeland. Jewish Voice Ministries International has made it a mission to travel to these remote areas of the world to offer free medical clinics to impoverished pockets of Jewish communities in the hope that they will flourish and be healthy and whole as they wait to return to the land of their fathers. This is ultimately why we've come to Gondor. Because as we're celebrating what God has done in Yeshua, we've come to remind people that God has not forsaken them in the midst of their displacement and suffering. We've been conducting medical outreaches like this with medical professionals and volunteers all around the world to try to help Jewish communities as they're waiting to go to the land of Israel to help them survive in the difficult conditions that, that they're in. We bring teams of doctors and dentists and eye care professionals. The goal is very simple, to help the Jewish community in these displaced areas to survive and to receive the help that they need. In fact, the medical care and dental care and eye care that we provide completely free of charge is a way to earn a platform to share our faith because ultimately the most important thing is not physically helping them, although that's important and it stands by itself, but it's, it's meeting their spiritual needs. So that's why we do this. Uh, I heard this adage as a child, it's always stuck with me. People don't care what you know until they know that you care. Come, come. Thank you for being so patient. Thanks for coming. Hi. Come right on in. As a result of these evangelical and humanitarian missions, like this one here in Ethiopia, Jewish Voice's team of volunteer medical professionals and others dedicated to reaching the Jewish people have witnessed tens of thousands of miracles of salvation and healings beyond medical intervention. A Muslim lady, just by the love that I showed her, wanted to know the God that I served purely by my love that she was suffering so tremendously and I held her in my arms and I even cried with her. It was just the right time I said, God, thank you because you let me know that what I'm doing is exactly what you want me to do. And just like Jonathan Burnett says, it's not what you say, it's what you do. We're gonna help you today, yes we are. I'm gonna, if I could take them home with me, if I could take them all home with me, I would do it, but, but I can't. I can't, and I wanna do as much as I can. That's what the volunteers that are with me feel. We wanna do as much as we possibly can. And it's like digging in sand because more come. You treat thousands and more come because the need is so great. Believing that these are the days God has ordained for the restoration of the Jewish people, 
Jonathan Bernis is more passionate than ever to see the fulfillment of the Jewish people's destiny, to experience eternal salvation found in their Messiah Yeshua, and restoration back to their land, the land of Israel. We believe that this is the time to favor Zion, that we're living in a time known as the end times or the last days, and there's a parallel thing that goes on in the last days. Anti-Semitism grows, the threats against Israel grows, but at the same time, the, the grace and the mercy of God is poured out. Jewish people that uh, come into this relationship with God supernaturally. Romans 1.16 says, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, but it's to the Jew first and then to the nations. And that principle is just as true today as it was 2,000 years ago. So we go to the Jew first, and in the midst of the trial and tribulation comes the grace and the salvation of God. If you share a passion to help reach Jewish people with the message of salvation, are excited about the discovery of Israel's lost tribes, or simply desire to support the nation of Israel, Jewish Voice Ministries needs your help. We need partners, and there's three ways that you can partner with Jewish Voice. First, we need those that will come on one of these outreaches, give up a week of their time. God will use them and change their life, and it's really powerful, and we put, can put everyone to work with these large clinics. Second, we need people that will pray for this ministry. We need prayer warriors around the world that will pray for the salvation of Jewish people, stand in the gap for these outreaches because God hears and answers prayer. And finally, we need people that will partner with us financially to provide all this free of charge. We'll treat eight to 10,000 people this week with free medical care, dental care, eye care, eyeglasses, medicines, and it costs a lot of money. So just a small amount, whatever anyone can do, will make a difference. That's how you can partner with this ministry. Jewish Voice Ministries, dedicated to proclaiming the gospel to the Jew first and demonstrating God's love to all people.